Most group discussions frequently include the increases in gasoline prices and the cost of a barrel of crude. Although crude is now creating profits for well operators, this has been far from true in the past. Some periods recorded such low prices it was more profitable to pull rods and tubing and sell off the equipment, often for scrap. All across the United States, thousands of abandoned wells are adding testament to this. To bring a well back to production could cost in excess of $25,000 while only being able to estimate its possible productivity. Until now. Seeing this need, Petroleum Recovery Products of South Arkansas has developed a small lightweight unit. It has the ability to both analyze a well's condition and lift fluid at costs as low as one dollar per barrel. Small enough to be towed behind a Jeep or light truck, it can be backed over a well and put to work in minutes. A flexible collection tube is lowered into the well and attached to the main cable. Both the length and diameter of the tube can be varied, allowing for use on a variety of wells, from slim hole to the largest casing. A 50 foot long, 3 inch diameter tube will lift approximately 20 gallons. From a depth of 2,500 feet, around 36 barrels of fluid can be expected in a 24 hour period. The unit can be powered by mains electric if available, but in remote areas, a 6 kilovolt single phase generator is quite adequate. The weatherproof circuit box protects the unit's heart and brain from the harsh oil field elements. The center of the operation, a small microcontroller, regulates the various stages of the cycle. A drive motor varies the speed of the ascent and descent, while a small number of relays and switches completes the picture. The initial descent at the start of any new operation is a designed search mode. The collection tube is lowered slowly at a rate of one foot per second to locate the current fluid level. Once located, the collector is lowered its full length into the fluid. And once full, the load is returned to the surface at the faster rate of four feet per second. At a distance of 10 feet from the surface, the rate is slowed to facilitate a smooth mating with the seal. Fluid is discharged by means of air via an onboard compressor. If no holding tanks are available close to the site, recovered fluid can be transferred to a temporary mobile tank. A transfer pump activated by a reservoir mounted float switch quickly moves the accumulated fluid. A screen is available, allowing the operator to monitor and record various stages of the operation. At all stages, the present depth is shown, along with the previous fluid depth and other important facts. With the fluid discharged, the search mode is complete. The program is now set for fluid recovery at its full speed of 4 feet per second on descent and ascent. This lightweight unit has been designed for crude recovery from stripper wells. Such wells up to 3,000 feet deep and yielding up to 10 barrels per day can be found over much of the continental United States. Two versions are available. The first, an economy stationary model, is designed to be easily set on one site. It can be controlled to move fluid at a rate to suit each well. This unit is meant to be run via three-phase mains, 440 volt power, and set to run as the owner requires. It can be set to operate part-time on a timer, or trip counter, or left to run full-time at a suitable speed. The second version is this mobile unit, easily transported to different sites, ideal for various tasks. Being able to accurately assess fluid depth and flow rates is a boon to owners. This information can prove valuable for operators to determine how best to produce a well. Any crew can easily be skimmed, eradicating the costly exercise of fluid separation and salt water disposal. Once salt water has been detected, the unit can be shut down and relocated.